Are you facing a lot of conflict on your team? Worried that why does it always have to feel so uncomfortable? Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, and I just want to take a minute to clarify the difference between healthy conflict and unhealthy conflict. So you can maybe think differently about that discomfort you're experiencing on your team. And in some cases, think about it as necessary and beneficial. And in other cases, stop putting up with it and realize that it's harmful and something you need to try and change. All right, what's the difference? Well, there's a characteristic of healthy conflict that I call tension. If you are in healthy conflict on your team, it should feel like you're being stretched to think about things differently, to consider different perspectives. That's healthy conflict. And it comes from a lot of different places. First of all, it comes from the fact that people on teams have different roles. So they have different expertise from one another. You probably even at your team, you may be representing different stakeholders. Somebody on your team is representing the, the buyer at your customer organization and someone else is representing the user or the consumer. Well, that means you're thinking about issues differently, lobbying for different possible answers, and that's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel like conflict, but it's a tension-based conflict. It's a stretch, and it's a healthy and good kind of discomfort. I think of that kind of tension or stretch as kind of like yoga. Uh, it's good for you. Sure, it's uncomfortable, but it's all in pursuit of something better. On the other hand, the other kind of conflict you may be experiencing on your team, not positive at all. And that kind of conflict feels a lot more like friction. It's the kind of conflict that comes from people who aren't listening to one another, people who don't put up with anyone who has a different answer or even a different style than they do. That's the kind of conflict that just Oh, makes you question whether you want to do this job, makes you even sometimes really worry about are you doing a good enough job? It can cause you to be annoyed, it can cause you to be exasperated, it can cause you to feel kind of deflated. So that kind of conflict on a team is really harmful, both to the productivity of the team, but also to you and to the trust among team members. And it's something you want to avoid. So whereas that tension and positive conflict where we learn and think about issues from new ways and we come to an optimal answer, where that's kind of like yoga, friction and you know that you're getting into trouble on your team is when the conflict feels like getting a blister. Ooh, and <laughs> There's nothing worse than getting a blister. That constant rub, you can almost not do anything else when you have a blister because it's so all-consuming how much it hurts. And that's what happens when we get into situations on our team where nobody's listening, where nobody's moving their initial opinion, they're just sort of you know, getting stuck in and you're going around and around. So there is definitely such a thing as a good reason to be uncomfortable and in conflict on your team. And that's because different perspectives are in tension and you're struggling to get to the best answer. But there are other reasons why we can be in conflict that we really want to work our way through and we, we want to avoid at all costs. And that's where we're just just not listening, we're not changing our position, we're not evolving, we're not optimizing at all. In fact, we're just getting stuck. That's that kind of blister type friction. So think about on your team, it's not necessarily a bad thing that you're uncomfortable or you're having conflict, but is it that healthy constructive conflict or is it that really harmful friction? All right, that's it for me. I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, here to help you get the team that you deserve.